Hi, hello, one I come and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video, yes, what you are seeing in the screen is what we're going to discuss today. So what is throughput in performance testing? And what are all the importance of performance testing? What uh, does a high throughput means and what does a low throughput means? And uh, we'll also see about the spikes in throughput. And in fact, throughput is one of the important metrics in uh, performance testing. So you definitely have to understand what throughput is. And this could be a, a question in your interview as well. So please do understand and please do watch the entire video. Uh, so firstly, uh, let's see what is throughput in performance testing and we'll see what are the importance of throughput testing and then I'll tell you, uh, take you through an example as well. So the first part is, uh, I mean, before we move on to the video, uh, uh, I'm conducting a load runner two day training on September 14th and 15th. So if you're interested and if you want to join uh, the training, I will share the link in the description. Please do check the description, uh, the link and uh, updated details and uh, uh, please do join me in the load runner training. It's for two days on September 14th and 15th. And again, uh, this is me, Asan Shanmugam. I welcome you all to our Little Slaw YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. And please do join the channel and uh, uh, share the video with your friends. And if you like the video, please do give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the video. And please do watch the video till the end because this could be one of your interview questions. So firstly, uh, what is throughput in performance testing? So throughput is again another one of the other crucial metric like perform the response times or uh, the number of transactions that, you, that is getting passed, the minimum CPU, the minimum response times, the maximum response time. So similar to that, again, throughput is another crucial metric in performance testing, which will measure how efficiently a system or application processes data within the specific time frame. So that is the reason why do we need to measure or why do we need to observe the throughput? Because let me again reiterate, because it's, it's a very, again, a crucial metric in performance testing. It's, it's not going to be a part of any other testing. Like you're not going to worry about uh, throughput in automation or you're not going to worry about throughput in the functional testing. But it the throughput is a, a, a high, I would say, a very crucial when it comes to performance testing. And... Uh, so why uh, why do we need to measure? I mean, like how do we measure it? So it's it's very crucial so that we we actually measure that uh, to understand how efficient the system or how efficient the application processes the data within a specific data uh, time frame. So it it is all in terms of the speed. It's all in terms of the uh, time again, like how efficient or how faster the system or the application processes the data within the specific time frame. Like if you are uh, giving a request and you, you must see the data very quickly. Right? So this throughput is actually a way where you can measure how efficiently it's happening or how efficiently the data or uh, the uh, system is behaving. And this is quantified. I mean, uh, throughput is quantified as the number of transactions. So we normally call it as TPS, which is number of transactions per second. Or you can even uh, call it as the requests uh, a system can handle per second. So it is again like TPS, transactions per second. So it is either the number of transactions or it is the requests a system can handle per second or a minute or an hour. So it can be a TPS, it can be TPM or TPH. So through uh, transactions per second or it can be uh, transactions per minute or transactions per hour. So or otherwise it could be a request that can be handled per second or minute or hour. So by understanding the throughput, it is very vital for you to evaluate the performance and the scalability of software applications as it directly influence the user experience and overall system efficiency. So you're going to understand very uh, important things, I would say. So the first thing is how efficiently the system or application processes the data within the specific time frame. That is number one. The second part is the number of transactions per second or per minute or per hour are the requests. Again, the request the system can handle per second, per minute, per hour. And uh, you also you are also going to understand uh, uh, the throughput, which is vital for evaluating the performance and the scalability of the software application because it directly influences the user experience. I mean, like if you're someone who is like using the application and you as a user will be experiencing the throughput, right? So that's the reason. Again, 
in terms of user's perspective you can experience it and in terms of the system efficiency again yeah it's it's all about the throughput so how efficiently the system can handle it and how efficiently or how quickly you are getting the response back and again uh, before we move on to the next topic which is the importance of uh, throughput so let me explain you what is a throughput so throughput is a measure of how much work a system can do in a given amount of time so think of it like uh, how many customers a cashier can help in an hour so in computer terms it is about how many tasks like processing data or handling user request a system can complete in a specified period so usually which is usually measured in seconds or minutes or hours so the higher the throughput which means the more efficient the system is at handling the lo uh, handling lots of work quickly so overall uh, let me just reiterate so throughput is a measure of how much work a system can do in a given amount of time so that is the reason we are seeing the throughput so uh, just again uh, to give a quick example so how many customers a cashier so in this case customer is the user and the cashier is the server or the machine can help in an arc and arc can process in an hour so in, in again in computer terms it's about how many tasks like processing data and the data get processed and it sends back to the user right so like processing data or handling user request a system can complete in a specified period of time which is can be measured in tps uh, the transactions per second or tpm or tph right so now let's move to the next part so uh moving on to the next part so the next part we are going to see about the importance of throughput in performance settings. like i told you earlier so throughput is the metric that you can see only in performance testing and it is not into any other uh, testing part so uh, again like there are several uh, uh, i mean like uh, importance like i would say the first is the capacity assessment uh, because when you measure the uh, throughput i mean when you want to measure the throughput so the testers can determine if an application can handle the expected load or the anticipated load before it is deployed so by measuring that by measuring the metric which is the throughput metric we as a tester can determine that if the application can or cannot handle the anticipated load before it is even deployed right so before so this is again i would say uh, uh, an advantage for a uh, for a performance tester or a performance uh, engineer because by just measuring the throughput or just by having that number you can determine that if the application will or it can handle the load before it has been even been deployed so just imagine if you find it that it is uh, capable of handling the load then you can very well go ahead and give a sign off and send uh, deploy it in the production and if, if you find it is not then you can very well do a you can raise an alert and tell them that see by measuring the throughput i i have found out that it is not going to uh, or it cannot be the load cannot be handled in the production environment so this way i mean like this method or this capacity assessment ensures that the application meets the required capacity for processing the user requests effectively so that's the reason again, again uh, throughput is uh, like very important in terms of performance testing because you can do the capacity assessment so that is the first importance or the advantage i would say and then the second one is the user experience so when you get high throughput or when you observe high throughput it signifies that the application can serve a large number of users simultaneously which will lead to a smoother and more responsive experience so that is the high throughput so when you are seeing high throughput which means that the application can serve a large number of users again simultaneously i would say simultaneously you mean um all the users can use the system at the same time so that's a simultaneous thing and it it can also lead i mean the application experience will be more smoother and you'll be getting more responsiveness more responsive experience so that is about the user experience so on the other hand if you observe low throughput it will result in delays and in turn it will make the users to get dissatisfied so you also you always have to expect or you also you always have to observe high throughput that's the positive way or that's a positive sign that the application can handle more load and can uh, be more responsive and then the next part is the resource optimization so 
you need to have a clear understanding of throughput before you even uh, uh, jump into any uh, analysis or in, into performance testing because by having a clear understanding of throughput will enable the organization to optimize their server and the resource utilization. So when, it, uh, when I'm telling about optimizing the server, so you do have the web server, you do have app server, database servers, and the resource utilization, which is the CPU utilization of the servers, the memory utilization of the servers. So the organizations can do all these. They can optimize the servers, they can optimize the resource utilization, which ensures that the resources are used efficiently because it doesn't mean that you are uh, you are going to like uh, spend a lot of money on the resources, but still at the end of the day, you are not going to get anything out of it. But by using this throughput, by effectively understanding or by having a clear understanding of what is throughput and how efficiently you can use as an organization for the, for the client you are working on, right? So they can use their resources efficiently because this optimization will help in minimizing the operational cost, like I told you, uh, you you don't need to uh, use you don't need to implement multiple machines. You can uh, rather you can use the required amount of web servers, app servers by avoiding both underutilization and also overburdening of resources. So this throughput will help in resource optimization. And uh, sorry, let me go back here. Yeah. So the next part is the scalability and bottleneck identification. So throughput testing reveals, I mean, uh, during load testing, you will understand or you'll observe the throughput, which reveals any bottlenecks in an application and also, and also it will assess how well the system scales under increased load. So if the throughput does not scale proportionately with added resources, it could indicate there are some underlying scalability issues. So that is the reason we have to do multiple testing like load tests and then even we have to do scaling, uh, scalability testing as well. And then the last one is the performance benchmarking. So throughput provides a, a quantitative basis for comparing the performance of different systems or the uh, same system under various conditions. So you can uh, test uh, multiple systems with the same threshold or you can test the same system with multiple thresholds. So you can test in various format, but at the end, the throughput is the quantitative basis because only using the throughput, I mean, like only by doing the comparison, you're going to do the benchmarking because this type of data-driven approach will support the informed decisions about the system improvements and optimizations, right? So that's that's another reason why we do have to observe, why we need to have uh, an eye on the throughput. Right, so, so far we discussed about the importance of performance testing, uh, importance of throughput in performance testing. So the first part is the capacity assessment. And the second one is the user experience. The third one is the resource optimization. So how well are you going to, or how well the organization is going to optimize the resources through the help of the throughput and then uh, the scalability and bottleneck identification. So the throughput testing will reveal the bottlenecks in the application and also it will help you to assess how well the system scales under increased load. And finally, the performance benchmarking. So throughput provides a quantitative basis for comparing the performance of different systems of the say, or the same system under various conditions. So overall, you're going to understand uh, with the help of throughput, like if there are any bottlenecks or if everything is good or you're going to even do the benchmarking. And now the much awaited example. So what did happen. So a recent example that uh, underscores the importance of throughput uh, is the significant traffic surge which is experienced by online ticketing platform during the sale of ticket for Taylor Swift's ERAS tour in 2024. And uh, due to the demand for tickets, uh, which was like exceptionally high, it led to millions of users who are attempting to purchase the tickets simultaneously when they become available. But Ticketmaster, which is one of the leading platforms which is handling the sale, faced the intense scrutiny as users reported delays, system crashes, and lengthy wait time. So the platform's throughput was put to test as it struggled to manage the overwhelming number of transactions per second. So this scenario highlighted the critical 
role of throughput in ensuring a smooth user experience as inadequate throughput led to widespread user frustration and negative publicity. So this incident again uh, serves as a uh, reminder of the need for robust performance testing to handle peak loads effectively. So overall, throughput is a foundational metric in performance testing which ensures that the application can effectively handle real world usage scenarios which maintain just be like maintained by both the performance and the uh, user uh, satisfaction so overall uh, by measuring the throughput i mean like if you really have a good throughput so it, it measures that you're going to uh, like the user is going to have a very good experience and the performance is also going to be good and overall if the throughput is lesser so which means there could be delays and there should there should be in turn a lot of user dissatisfaction so this is all about the throughput and we'll see much more in the uh, upcoming videos so until i meet you in our next video it's bye bye from assistant and your favorite little star youtube channel take care and bye bye